Here in the industrial town of Long Beach, California, we have a whole store dedicated to the supplies you need to keep moving shafts from leaking air or fluids. Here, you can get all the tools and supplies you need, along with some pretty good advice on how to seal up just about anything. We are going to keep this video specific about propeller shaft packing. The propeller shaft packing nut should never leak when the shaft is not turning or when it is turning at any RPM. No, not a small drip. It should not leak at all. If it leaks, it allows water to set against the shaft. It also washes out the grease. The grease is key to lubricating the shaft and sealing the water out. The packing material simply holds the grease in place. If the packing is too tight, friction causes heat, and this melts the grease, and the water washes it out. The grease has a life. It will become old and hard and stop being effective. If the packing gland is leaking or running hot, it needs to be repacked. Repacking the propeller shaft can be done while the boat's in the water. And I have a few tricks that makes this much easier. Before we start the repacking process, I usually clean the shaft and the stuffing box with a mild acidic cleaner. This will remove salts, calcium, and cuprous oxide, making the nut slide up and down the shaft and thread easier. The material we use to pack propeller shafts is a braided square flax packing, impregnated with tallow. It is age old and been around for hundreds of years. We have learned to stay away from the plastics. The packing materials that we've tried with nylons, teflons, or delrons in them, if these get hot, they will melt and gall. The flax packing material will take a high heat and still stay in place. The flax packing material comes in different sizes and it should fit easily into the packing nut. If you have to force the packing rings down into the nut, they are too tight. You should go with the next size down. Once you have determined the size of the packing that your boat needs, it should be recorded in the logbook and extra packing should be kept on board. Also, in your kit, you should have a piece of neoprene wireless hose that's inside diameter is the same as the diameter of your propeller shaft. It should be cut exactly square, about as long as two widths of a hose clamp. You can then cut it open so that you can get it around the propeller shaft. When you remove the packing nut, take note of the position of the shaft. There should be a space all the way around the shaft. The shaft should not be riding against the stuffing box at any point. If it is, you need to adjust your engine alignment. Misalignment can wear the shaft and the stuffing box, also creating heat. This misalignment will also cause uneven pressure in the packing rings. Now comes the fun part, hooking out the old packing rings. It's not a good idea to shortcut this. All the old packing rings have to come out, and then the inside of the nut cleaned.
key here is to use lots of grease. I grease the shaft and I grease between each packing ring as I put it in. The grease we use and works best is a good quality marine trailer bearing grease. These greases are formulated and engineered so that water doesn't displace them. Also, they have anti-corrosive properties and they hold up better in a high heat environment. I try to stagger the butts in the packing rings, putting one at 2 o'clock, one at 10 o'clock, and one at 6 o'clock. The objective of this exercise is to fill the packing nut as consistently as you can, with no lumps or bumps or hard spots. What I'm looking for here as I adjust the packing nut is a nice even ring of grease coming out ahead of the shaft. You can feel as you tighten it that you're starting to squish the grease out. We absolutely do not want to over tighten this and push all the grease out. We just want to make sure that there's no air bubbles or voids and that we have a nice layer of grease between the packing and the shaft. There shouldn't be any leaking, and the shaft should turn easy. Of course your stuffing box should be checked often and if it starts to leak it can be adjusted. After the adjustment it should still run cool. If it runs hot or if you have to tighten it too tight to keep it from leaking it needs to be repacked. I sincerely hope this video has been informative and cleared up some of the mysteries about packing. If you would Please subscribe so that we can make more of these videos and so that you will know when they come out. And with that, yes, I'm going to send you packing. If you noticed in the first clip of this video, the propeller shaft stuffing box was on the outside. There are two boats I work on that have this system. One is the Atlantis, built in eastern Canada. The other is Resolute, built right here in Wilmington, California. This system has some real advantages, 
over the stuffing box being on the inside. The first is that the stuffing box will never run hot. This stuffing box also acts as a stern bearing so that you don't need a separate cutlass bearing. Because of this, the nut is much longer than a standard stuffing box and contains a couple of more rings of packing. It also eliminates hard water deposits and marine growth that accumulate inside a stern tube. The disadvantage of this system is that adjustments have to be made underwater by a diver or the boat has to be hauled. The packing procedure for this system is exactly the same as I have shown. And properly adjusted, we have never had to go back and readjust them.